What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and here we are with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now I want to do a video about my productivity setup because I've spent a lot of time on this and I wanted to give some of you the viewers some of what's going on here to possibly help you out. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with just the wallpaper. This is an abstract wallpaper here. It's red and black. It kind of reminds me of cyberpunk. All I did was a Google search for abstract city. I may have added red or black in there or red and black. So that's the basics here. So let's talk about the widgets that I have here. We're going to start with time sense. This is just a timer here where it allows you to see progress towards an event or from an event. And that works really well. I also have stacked widgets here. So this is a feature of Samsung One UI. We have another widget here with the time and the weather. Just looks really nice. And then we have a widget from Samsung Health about my sleep. And that just gives me a quick insight on my sleep hygiene. Works really well there. And I believe that's it. Oh, we actually have screen time here. So that's very useful as well. And then we come back to time sense. So stacked widgets are going to be very helpful for you if you're maximizing your productivity setup. You want to keep things looking simple, but you also want maximum amount of information here. Stack widgets are going to allow you to place more items in one spot while maintaining this clean appearance that you see here. Next, we're going to have my favorite podcast application right now, and that's Pocket Cast. And this is just a nice widget. By the way, they have a really good widget. It's very simple. This is the Up Next widget as I'm viewing different podcast episodes, I can add them to the up next list and they show in this widget. And it just kind of streamlines things and keeps things looking nice. And then I have a playlist of podcasts that I want to listen to. And if we swipe to the left or the right, I'm not sure, I'm swiping that way, that would be to the left. I have my Google shopping list here. So very quick and easy to access if i'm looking to do some shopping or if i'm looking to add items fairly quick and that's it for that but you can see again stacked widget now underneath this we're going to have some more widgets and this is more audio i also have duolingo in there because i'm trying to learn a language but let's go through these so first we're going to have black player ex so this is a really nice customizable music player application for those who are diehard music fans looks really nice again you can customize the layout i've got things pretty simple here though i probably should get into customizing it so next we're going to have media monkey media monkey i covered this a long time ago it's also for serious music collectors it allows you to sync your music from your device to your PC or from your PC to your device. You can sync things such as music, playlists, movies, podcasts, all those kinds of things. Uh, this is a very useful application as well. Then we're going to have another, oh, and by, before we go any further, again, emphasis on stacked widgets there. Moving on, we are going to have a widget. This is for Spotify and their widget looks pretty good. These are also helpful if you want to jump into applications really quick. So you can see how well that works. And then we're going to swipe again. We have Duolingo. This is great if you want to jump into that application really quick again. But I hope that you're seeing the idea behind my layout so far. It's efficiency, but also maximization. Again, stacked widgets will keep everything looking really clean in your UI while also maximizing productivity. So moving on to the right side of my display, we're going to have a system cleanup tool here that's in Samsung One UI. And I don't have any stacked widgets there. So clean and simple. 
Now I do have some applications hanging about right here and I could tap on it and it'll bring up a menu. And this is also a very useful feature here if you're looking to quickly access applications for a quick reference. So for example, let's say that I'm doing some work here, but then I realize, you know what? I wanna pull open that calculator there. I have the calculator application pulled to the right side here and I could just pull it out. I could do a quick calculation here. We'll just do something simple, five times five. Oh, that's 25. And then I can hide that back on the right side. Same thing with all these other ones. I could pop them open. You could see that I have them on the corners there. You know, I can rearrange them, just have them all available. You know what, I wanna look at Amazon. I'm gonna pull Amazon out. Okay, I did my search there, done with Amazon. I could tuck that to the side. Next, we're going to have Flipboard here. This is a magazine application, very useful if you're looking just for news updates or maybe you're looking to start your own magazine that you think others might be interested in on topics that you're interested about. And I don't have any stacked widgets there. And then the last item we have here is a widget for battery. And this isn't a stacked widget also. But I like this widget because if you're using connected devices, it shows the battery status for those devices. So you can see Leon's Watch Ultra, that's at 100%. Now, I'm not wearing it right now. But if I was wearing it, I would know the state of it as well. And then obviously we have the state of my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 here. But also if I had my Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro out and going, they would show up here. So very nice feature. Now we're also going to have some of my favorite apps at the bottom here. This is very useful. You know, again, for quick access, I have Copilot here and I have Google Gemini. Those are very good artificial intelligence apps and they're both competing with one another and i like both each for different reasons so microsoft copilot it does feel more like an ai companion and then google gemini especially the live which is similar to microsoft's ai companion it feels like less of an ai companion and more of a means to access information but in a conversational like way, just like Microsoft's Copilot. Then I have Samsung Health, because health is very important. Samsung Notes, because that works really well. And then I have the sync tool for MediaMonkey. So that allows me quick access to my Microsoft PC so I can sync my newly added music from my Microsoft PC to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now, I don't have any additional pages here, and again, the emphasis here is to keep things very simple, keep things very clean, but pack as much information in here as possible on one page. So that's what we have here. Again, no extra pages. But we do have access to the Google News Feed here if we swipe to the right as we did. And we can browse whatever information we have available here. And again, I want to emphasize that as we're browsing, we can pull out these different items from the left and right side of the display. We can quickly reference them and then we can quickly throw them back. Again, works really well. Now, moving on here, we do have the side panel, the edge panel here. Very useful for accessing your favorite apps as well as other things such as the weather. But this wasn't enough for me. So I looked for another app and I found panels. Panels is kind of the same thing, but it allows you to add another panel because maybe you want something extra. Maybe you want a better apps list like we have here, or maybe you want additional widgets. You can add a widgets panel here. It works really nice, very easy to use, and it doesn't cost all that much. So that's pretty much it for my productivity setup. Again, very simple, works really nice here looks really cool let me know what you think so that is it for today's content as always thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor and until next time leon check in out